compared to Barrera's last victory, the public would probably want to see Marquez now more so than Barrera, which I wanted at first. And there you see, fighting out of the blue corner and wearing the colors of his homeland, red, white, and blue. He weighed in at an official 123 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, 27 victories with only two losses, one draw, and 12 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Negros Oriental, the Philippines, Jim Reds, the executioner, Haka. Across the ring in the red corner. Dressed in the colors of Mexico, green, white, and red. Weighing in at 124 and one half pounds. He maintains an impressive professional record consisting of 45 victories. With three losses, one draw, and 34 of his victories coming by way of knockout. The former WBA and IBF featherweight champion of the world. And the defending WBO interim featherweight champion. De la Ciudad de México, de F. Juan Manuel Marquez. All right, gentlemen, I gave you instructions on the dressing room. Obey my commands, fix up all times. Good luck. What a sort of thing. Your boxing years is much younger. A little more than anticipated. Marquez and the traditional nervous. He's got to go up against a conventional fighter, and there you see Marquez. Wait. Marquez is fighting a lot more aggressive than he normally. He lost a decision that night. He, I never heard him say something like that. Yeah, and he's got caught with a beautiful straight left right there by Haka. Haka oh. doing work to the body, but Marquez spins him around and now goes to town in the corner. This could turn out to be a much more exciting fight than we all expected. Uh, it was a left hook from Marquez. Yes, it means we have a good, exciting fight on our hands. When we go to the corner of Haka, when they speak Tagalo, earning 18 out of 54, Haka 18. And there you see uh, how Harold Letterman scored the first round, and he gave it to... This fight was supposed to take... It was Marquez who did some of the hurting in that round, although... Now, Marquez is a, a wee tad slower than he normally is, I think, because himself got caught with a right hook, even though... There you see what Marquez does. So. ...in this fight, if Marquez can make adjustments and start to pull away. Marquez trying to end round two with a... Instead of throwing punches and just staying there, it's be that effective. This guy seems to have his... And miss a little bit more in this round than he was earlier. To another level. I see Marquez Mar applying a little more. A little bit of the speed that he says. Getting to settle into the fight now. Haka. Haka's punch output slows down just a little bit. Marquez trying to steal another round. Jim Rex Hawk, I mean, this is... It's not uncommon for Marquez to start slowly, but like he really is trying to take this guy's head off. Both fighters now, in, in previous fights, he maybe then would have gotten the fights. In... Doesn't have the punching power, Marquez, but he's fighting the bird. Look, Marquez seems to be caught with that straight leg. Pacquiao punches with a lot more speed and power. Than well, still, he is fighting a southpaw with a good straight left hand, and that's put him in kind of the, you know, he's active against a guy like that. Might that not be an advantage against Pacquiao in a, in a rematch? But what, what happened is what Emmanuel Stewart and Max Kellerman, and this was supposed to be a rebirth here for Juan Manuel Martin. A watered down version of Pacquiao right here in front of Haka. He wanted to make sure everything was all good. Marquez wouldn't touch gloves. I'll tell you what. If Harold's scorecard's right, that puts Marquez in some trouble. And Marquez, you can tell, sensing he doesn't want the fight to be in danger because of the cut. Going to work here in the fifth round. This is the fifth fight that we know of with Haka. And to, you know, get even after getting cut. And now that he's...
Marquez. Nice Marquez. Sometimes when fighters are he lost to Freddie Norwood, controversial profile among since the cut. And he's to me landed more punches in the fight. Well, it wouldn't be a dramatic win if it wasn't against the detective. When particularly they're excited about what after what happened with Pacquiao in the Mexican last week. I've been showing so much pockets. Good right hand. Good right hand. Marquez landing flush upstairs on Jim Rex Haka. Very determined fighter. Yeah, I like going one, two, and Haka was getting that right side of Marquez's face. You see him wiping it off. In between, firing big shots. Fellas, safe to say, not what we expected. Watch the round. Four to two, Marquez. And Marquez punches good with both hands, even though he punched. Not only is this the kind of fight that will endear Marquez to the fans. It's truly the case, I believe. I think he's, he gets hit a little bit more than he used to, but he's fighting a lot. Oh, nice uppercut by Marquez, and then he does a... Marquez, as I mentioned, he lost two fights ago. He's fighting a very good, exciting power-punching fight tonight. And Juan and his you can, wife... You can build a couple down. in the Philippines. It's cool. Letting us know it's a second accidental headbutt. And you can see once again, Marquez wants to take matters into his own hands. Haka standing right there with him going toe to toe. But Haka came right to him and he said, sure uh, did. met him punch to punch. What an exchange. What a great exchange. You know, Haka's going right to him. He's not taking it easy. Both guys are meeting each other head on. Blood streaming down his face, Fred. Down Mar uh, Marquez's face in a furious exchange with a determined and contender. If, if they go to a scorecard, based on what I'm seeing, Marquez still could win the fight, possibly. And he's not trying to... Blood now covering the right side of his face. Time, right there. Come here, come on. Come on, Wani. How many guys? Your head on the scorecard, okay? Can you see? Can you see? How many feels I got? Okay. All right. When it's cold, tell yeah. him, uh, Marquez gets your head on the scorecard. Definitely on it. I'm very sad about it. I don't recall ever hearing it. Open. Well, and he wants to fight on. How could Lawrence Cole have any idea? <laughs> Yeah, you see another head, but I tell you, there's no cut involved, just on points. I mean, the guys, are a point that was just brought to my attention. Always the, the boxing guy in his life, for he and his brother Raw. He doubled up and it floors Haka. I'm surprised. I don't think Haka knows where he is quite. No, he probably didn't see the punch. But it seemed like he was aware, but just totally just confused. That's his Sunday punch, Manny. The left hook. When he catches you with the hook clean, you gotta go. Great, great victory for Marquez. Jim Rex Haka seemingly was taking everything that Juan Manuel Marquez had to offer until he got caught with a double left hook. Well, out of this victory, I would love to see Marquez get a super fight with Pacquiao. Win or lose, he deserves it. Has he tipped the scales for you away from Barrera and towards himself for the next guy for Pacquiao to fight, Manny? He has. He has for me. I think because of the drama of this fight compared to Barrera's last victory, the public would probably want to see Marquez now more so than Barrera, which I wanted at first. And there you see the knockout right there. And watch it with the left hand from Marquez. Doubles up, and it was the second one that put Hako on a seat and he didn't move from that point on you might be wondering why isn't he trying to get up i think it's a case of him just being not knowing where he is i'm still confused i cannot figure that seems like he's aware yeah he's, he's not really hurt that much the fact that he's setting up not on his back but nevertheless he was knocked out he did he looked he looked
cognizant of what was going on, but sometimes a fighter can look that way and still be totally dazed and confused. That's what we want to see as fight fans. His face torn open against a young, determined, fast guy who's not scared of him. Lupe Contreras is ready, Max, with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end with an official time of two minutes, 48 seconds of the ninth round. Your winner, by way of knockout and still, WBO interim featherweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Marquez.